Well done. Start timer. Is this TMI for my channel? No. We always get uncomfortable here. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I want to know what poor sleep, alcohol, travel, and stress does to all the different markers in your urine that you can measure with these strips. It's time to get unhealthy. For science! It is now 9.30 p.m. And I'm working out. Now it's 11 p.m. and I am having dinner. My work has been extra crazy, so for the past two weeks, I've been eating super late and staying up past 2 a.m. It is now 6 a.m. I am traveling to a conference all weekend where I will sleep and eat heavily and drink and generally have trouble staying on all my healthy habits. So this is the perfect time to pee on these strips and see what all that garbage does to my body. Ideally, I would have started this video with a baseline measurement where I was taking care of myself, but I know the piano especially did not agree. So instead, this will be a test to see just how bad I'm doing and then a challenge to see how quickly I can get back to good. I need my phone. There's an app for this. This is called Vivu, and it measures a bunch of different stuff in your pee. They give you four sticks in a pack, and you're supposed to use them one a week. So I'm going to test my calcium, ketones, magnesium, protein, pH, water, salinity, oxidative stress, and vitamin C, nine parameters. You're in. Congrats on taking the first step on your unwellness journey. That's what this feels like. My weight, ooh, a lady showing her weight on the internet. 30, bulking, activity level. I'd say moderately active. I would like to say very active, but I sit at my computer all day and then go really hard at the gym. Alcohol consumption. We'll go social. Even though I'm a dork and bad at being social. Right. When people meet me in person, they're like, wow, you are littler than I expected. Cigarette consumption, non pescatarian Goals. Ugh. I want all of these. Let's go learn about my body. Really, that's what this video is, right? Learn. So ketone is first. This is interesting because I didn't mention I haven't eaten in, I don't know, 30 hours? A lot of times when I'm traveling, it's hard to find food, and so I just end up fasting, which feels kind of free. But anyway, this is perfect because if it doesn't pick up ketones in my pee, it probably is off because I'm definitely in ketosis right now. I can feel it. You're not supposed to open these until you're ready to use them. Here we go. And that is where I will deposit my fluids. My strip type is the diamond needle. One. Okay, just two to three seconds of effort. Gotta go! Well done, start timer. Is this TMI for my channel? No. We always get uncomfortable here. Now once my timer is done, accesses my camera, Loading. putting a record of my human waste in the cloud, successfully took my test. 6.9 out of 10, what does that even mean? My score. 6.9? That's a D. I mean a D plus. What does it say about my ketones? 8 out of 10. What? We've detected a moderate amount of ketones. It could be dehydration, headaches, fatigue, or fasting. This could be an active choice. They're telling me to eat more grains to stop being in ketosis. Interesting. I did that on purpose. Oh, I told them I'm not on a ketogenic diet, so they think I'm not supposed to have ketones. I've never seen it measured in milligrams per deciliter, so I don't know, but 5 to 15 sounds like a big range. Water is optimal. Cool. Oh, interesting they show overhydration. Protein. Great. Oh, that's not dietary protein. It's a bad thing to have it in your urine because it shows things like dehydration. It's cool that they give an explanation too. pH. Optimal. That's surprising. I thought for sure I'd be screwing up that balance. Stay tuned. There's drinking tonight. I am just on the edge of acidic, but in optimal. Cool. Calcium on low. Huh. This can cause poor memory fatigue. Poor sleep quality. Cool that they give me examples of how to fix it. Chia seeds. And a reminder. Give me an alert to eat seeds. Magnesium is low. Whoa. Yeah, that means I'm gonna sleep crappily. I mean, that was gonna happen anyway. I'm in a hotel room. Low mood, low energy, headaches. Oh, I should supplement magnesium. Good to know. Thanks, P. My vitamin C is low too. I don't eat a lot of fruit. I eat a lot of veggies. <laughs> Interesting. These are all the things that I thought I was fine on. Turns out I'm bad. Oxidative stress. Saw that coming. Wow. Yeah, I work out too much to get rid of the oxidative stress. The, uh, that's high. Oh, interesting. Zinc can help. Why is there no sodium data? Did I not pee correctly? It may be that these are old. I've had them at my place for a long time. Oh, the expiry date. Still five months from now. Interesting. But I love that they don't give you bogus results. They say, hey, it didn't work out instead. And now they put all of the advice in one place. I'm interested in measuring the ketones in my blood, which I brought my device. Let's go see how it compares. Ow. In case you were curious, my blood glucose is 73. 1.6, not bad for over a day of fasting. Definitely in ketosis. 0.5 is the cutoff for being in ketosis. Let's do the conversion milligrams per deciliter to this from my blood, a millimole. Interesting, they're saying I was between 5 and 15, which would be 0.2 
all the way up to one ish. That's a way lower reading than what my blood is saying. So it looks like the strips are underestimating the level of ketones in my blood. But it is cool that it was aware they are present. Now I would say time to go improve, but I have a lot more conference left. I just watched all of that. I am exhausted, but I can get exhausted -er. This needs to be an extreme test. Close the convention down. Spent all day walking through there, meeting people, getting drained in general. But also, there's a lot more partying to go. Sound the bar. Good morning, what a surprise, my recovery is fair. And I found a gym and I'm pushing myself harder anyway. Shut the convention down again, it's been a lot of walking and emotional effort, I am not recovering. Good morning, everyone stayed out late drinking last night. I had beer and the Serono for some reason. He thought my 69 recovery score was bad. We can do worse, 56, and then my sleep score, 49. That's an F minus, 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 minus. And this weekend is not over. It's going to be interesting to see if my urine markers get even worse before I can finally try and get them better. I spent the day at Mark Rover's lab, which was crazy and definitely worth waking up early and compromising my health. Now finally headed home and look, uh, my sleep mate doesn't exist, but I can't even lay down like I did on the way here. And we're not done yet, because I just got off the plane and we're at a Barbie movie screening with alcohol. It's only been three days, even though they say one week, but we need more data on this channel. Yes, I'm holding my pee again. I can't tell a color difference because I don't remember what it was before. If it didn't have this app, I would be stressed out because it would be really tough to track changes over time. Analyzing. I guess I don't need this anymore. 8.8 .8 out of 10? Okay, I guess just drink a punch and get sleep deprived and your health will improve. Ah, my score may have gone up because it's detecting no ketones in my urine and it thinks that's a good thing. Yeah, this is the coolest part. You can show history so I know I went from a lower score to a higher score. Protein, same. Oh, weird! Now I'm at the edge of the top of optimal when I was at the edge of the bottom of optimal. Interesting, so there was a shift. Water stayed the same. Calcium's still low. Magnesium's back to optimal. Huh. Vitamin C is now up to optimal. Oxidative stress, equally high. Again, it's not picking up my sodium. Hmm. This would have been an interesting one too because I've been told multiple times on blood tests that I have a low sodium reading. My doctor actually prescribed me to drink Gatorade. Which I was like, ew, I don't want to drink 100 calories of gross slimy liquid every day. So I called the doctor back and said, is there anything else I can do besides Gatorade? And I got a nurse who was frantic, they didn't have an answer. I was like, let me, let me call you back. And she called me back and she was like, okay, I got you a solution and you can make lemonade and put salt in it. And I was like, that's just homemade Gatorade. Anyway, now it's on me to move the needle on this 8.8, .8. can we get higher? Yes, I've had a series of days taking care of myself. Great, I feel awesome. I've not been following their diet advice. I just am back to my usual healthy eating at home, not traveling. I have way less opportunities to drink and I've been sleeping awesome. Look at this recovery, you got a green score. And then a green score, that's so high. And then a green score and then Still over 60%. And then another green score. Well, let's see what getting back to my happy habits did. Oh, and I should mention, I got a new pack that hasn't been sitting around my house for months, so hopefully we'll get some sodium data too. I'm analyzing my test, but I hung on to this to show you what I just realized. Every time I took the picture with my iPhone camera, I was thinking the white balance isn't exactly calibrated the same in every location. Lights are always different. Is this kind of BS? But then I realized these triangles along the side are not ones that change. That's their calibration colors so they can compare and know what's off with the weight balance. So that does restore my faith a bit in this. And now for me to be perfectly healthy, a 7.6! So my score has moved down. Fascinating. Let's look at the individual parameters. My vitamin C is low and that history shows it was okay and then back to low again. Water, I'm dehydrated right now. That's crazy. I assume that I'm never dehydrated because I wake up and chug lemon water and then I chug throughout the day, but there are long pauses between my chugs and it's been a while since I had my lemon water. I love that this is making me question my assumptions on my happy habits because my happy habits might not be optimal for health. This one's interesting. I'm glad I didn't start supplementing with magnesium because I was low and then optimal and now high. Oh, I did start supplementing with magnesium. When I'm traveling, I usually don't drink Beam, which is this drink to help you fall asleep. And I did a couple of times in the past week, and so I bet that's what this is. It has magnesium in it, and now I'm above, so I should probably use it in even more moderation. My calcium went from low to high with no changes. Oh, interesting. It doesn't mean that I don't have enough calcium. It means that my calcium is excreted from my body in my urine, and I may need more? I'm learning so much. And now my pH is acidic. <gasps> 
My lemon water. Oh, that's crazy. Maybe I shouldn't have that every morning. I gotta keep testing. The tones are as expected. I ate pasta last night. Oxidative stress. I'm back to great. Oh, that's awesome. My sleeping worked. I didn't think it would. I thought for sure I would just always be stressed out physically because I work out too much. Oh, I can get back to okay. And then sodium, still no data. Huh. I wonder what's up. But I did my best for you, Pallies. I even invested in another pack. I actually started concepting this video by getting these, which are similar, I guess. You pee on a strip, but then instead you compare it to this bottle on the colors on there, and that is stressful for two reasons. One, I have to uh, very quickly respond to which one this matches up to. And you have to make sure you read the correct parameter at the correct time. Example, pH is exactly at 60 seconds. If you take too long, the colors start to shift. And you don't remember what it was on the last one. What am I gonna write this down and then graph it by hand? So I'm not even gonna open these and also I will be returning this to Amazon. Because when I saw that Vivu tells you what color it is, <laughs> Tells me what color. I went to art school. That is a degree in colors. But I need an app to do it and then show me how I've improved over time and that is the coolest part. And the app is showing me that I can improve. I'm still so thrilled about the oxidative stress thing. And it's also making me question my assumptions. Oh, maybe I am dehydrated. Maybe lemon water isn't the greatest every day. Maybe I should cut back on bean. I am a little skeptical of their advice and suggestions, how they tell me what to cook and how they didn't know that ketones in my blood were okay because I was fasting. Although I would rather them tell me natural diet changes as opposed to just trying to sell me a pill, which they also try and sell me a pill. But in general, I am pro Vivu. It has helped me track data, synthesize data, gamified peeing. If you liked this, you'll like seeing when I spent a whole convention in barefoot shoes with 10 pounds of extra weight on my ankles walking a full marathon. I'll put that down there for you. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and last year at the YouTuber convention, VidCon, I put on my first pair of barefoot shoes and then ended up walking a full marathon in them. But now that I've been wearing barefoot shoes 